Good morning, everybody. It's your amigo Nico from Cliff Jones RV here in Sealy, Texas. Of course, it's July, only about nine o'clock. I'm already sweating profusely, but luckily I'm very excited to show you this brand new 2021 Force River R-Pod 202. So this is the first tandem axle R-Pod, and I think they really knocked it out of the park with this one. I'm a big fan of the rear kitchens. I think it has a great flow for the floor plan. Of course, this one does offer the larger refrigerator that they've been using, the eight cubic foot versus the traditional dorm fridges that the uh, traditional R-Pod floor plans have used. I really love the interior, uh, super bright, really opens it up. Here we have a slide with a pretty unique setup here. Uh, so this is not only a jackknife sofa, uh, you can remove these little end tables just like that. And then you can just pull this little lever here and it turns into a bed. Uh, the jackknives that we're you know, pretty accustomed to seeing in the R-Pods, you also have storage underneath. But what I was really impressed with is that this is also a recliner. So you just pull this little lever here and there you go. So also first uh, R-Pod with recliners as well, which is really great. I know I love mine. Of course it is wired for solar. Our parts department can help you with that. They just insert a controller here, mount it on the roof and um, hook it up and you're ready to go with 12 volt power if you have the right uh, setup. Here we have a thermostat for the AC. So it is ducted, uh, which is really great. Most our pods are not ducted. All of the cold air pretty much just drops here, but because you do have a larger unit, this is gonna be much better. You can control each duct individually and rotate it where you want. You do also have a uh, slider here for a quick dump. So if you're sitting here, it drops all the cold air. Uh, here we have a uh, storage area that goes pretty far back here for hanging clothes or whatever you need. Uh, this is a 12 volt television. Don't want any uh, copyright issues here, so just have the television on so you can see it functioning. I'm just plugged into the golf cart seven way right now, um, so you can run the TV off of battery. We do have some USB chargers here, control panel here right in front of the TV, very easy to get to, as well as additional plugs and your monitor panel for a uh, gray tank, black tank, fresh tank, and battery as well as control for the uh, propane and electric water heater as well as a water pump if you want to go off the grid and take portable water with you. Uh, here we have the multifunction radios, AM, FM, Bluetooth. It does have HDMI input as well as USB input. You can play music just inside, just outside or both. You do have um, little nets here for storage to keep everything from jumping around. Uh, breaker box here. Of course, it does have a fireplace, which is really great. So in addition to your propane furnace, you can run this to generate heat on electricity or just have a light show for a little ambiance. We have another storage area here and these shelves are adjustable so you can move them uh, wherever you like. You also have storage underneath. So this one is a uh, walkthrough bathroom, which is pretty cool. You do have the pocket doors for space efficiency. Here we have the medicine cabinet, plenty of storage. Room here for linens. And of course, like the newer R pods have, uh, this one also has the uh, vacuum. The hose is an accessory that you can order from Forest River. But if you just want to sweep everything here, it's very easy to slip this up. If it's on, it'll start working immediately. And then just close it with your foot like that. You have grounded power connections for a blow dryer, trimmer, whatever you need. Nice little counter here and a sink. Storage underneath here. Go ahead and close this door. Of course, we do have a very powerful fan with four settings. The max fan, so you just open it like so. And I'm gonna go ahead and set to four because it's a little toasty in here. I uh, would recommend getting the max air guard. That way, if you're traveling down the road, you can have a window open, have this on, it'll keep it 10 to 15 degrees cooler. That way when you're up to your destination, it won't take as long for your RV to cool down. Here we have the shower. Great thing is it does have a tub surround. So most RVs just have paneling, but this actually protects the panels from moisture. You do have a skylight there. So I'm an average size guy, just under about six feet and still have plenty of room here. Go ahead and close this. Nice thing is this thing is bowed out. So it gives you a little bit more uh, elbow room. So yeah, definitely. Uh, this is very, very doable. Not gonna struggle in here as you would on some others. Here we have the toilet. 
It's got a pretty good position there. Really nice size bathroom. That's the good thing about having the pass-through is it's not uh, very cramped like some others. So really, really great size bathroom for this R-Pod. Here we have the master. This is gonna be a 60 by 74 bed uh, camper queen. Here we have storage underneath. And I just love the accent lights that they've been doing on these newer models. Uh, just really, really nice, elegant look to them. Do have USB chargers and uh, standard power there with a little nightstand, as well as on this side, nice and even. Does have the panoramic window up front, as well as one uh, regular window here that slides open and an emergency exit there. Uh, nice thing is you do actually have a speaker in here for entertainment. So uh, most RVs just have it right in the living room, but this one extends it out a little bit. Uh, you do have plenty of room here to put a TV, uh, really great size TV for the bedroom. And this is also gonna be a 12 volt power television as well. So you can run this one on battery, but you do also have standard plugs and uh, connections here for uh, video. Do you have storage here, more nifty little net dealies. Here we have a uh, duct for the furnace, whenever we rarely ever need that in the Texas heat. I'll go ahead and close this before I forget. And that's gonna be about it. I'm just gonna give you a, you know, overall view, just kind of slow down. So you can check it out from these angles. And of course, do you have the AC duct here? Plenty of headroom, really nice. Very impressed with these uh, colors that they have on this one. I'm just gonna take a step back here from the bathroom to show you the living area. Hopefully that'll be a nice thumbnail for YouTube. I always pick the worst thumbnails. So we just got this one in. As of right now, we do also have the 192. We do have a couple of other ones as well. This is gonna be the uh, first one with the new color scheme that I'm gonna show you here shortly. Now, one other thing that's pretty cool about this one is gonna be the door. So we have the uh, monolithic door happening here on the 202. This is the uh, honeycomb type scheme they got going on outside. This one's got the really nice steps. This is the first RPOD I've seen with these steps that you know many others have. They're like a fifth wheel, very sturdy, feet are adjustable to different ground heights. Uh, people really love these versus others. Of course, we have a six gallon rapid heat, uh, propane and electric water heater. Again, this is the 202. Uh, it is constructed with Astel behind the fiberglass. So you have less than a 1% chance of it delaminating uh, versus older campers. Gives you better sound insulation. It's much stronger and lighter. They have a great outside kitchen here as well. This is gonna be a 1.6 cubic foot refrigerator. Here we have a spray port with cold water. Here's the hose, removable sink, griddle. Really love that griddle. That's super awesome. Um, of course, we have the tandem axle. Power connections here for the outside. RVQ connection for the propane grill under there. So now the frog's uh, chilling underneath a tree, eating some bees. So that's new for sure. Going from a airplane and everything else to sitting under a tree. So there you go. Uh, here we have pass-through storage. Really great storage on this one. Of course, your iPods are all aluminum framing. Here we have magnets, not clips. Uh, four point manual leveling. As I said, I'm just hooked up to the uh, seven way plug on the golf cart here. So that will give you uh, power. Here we have the main jacket is electric, which is nice. It does have LED light uh, to help you to see early in the morning, late at night. It has one propane tank. You can't upgrade to a second. Here at Cliff Jones, if we can earn your business, we will install a brand new battery, fill the propane, do a full systems check and give you an hour long class, show you how everything works. It's got a really great size awning. That is a full fledged awning. Uh, not one of the, um, you know, louder ones that they usually have on the smaller 
our pods. It does have a panoramic window up front. Here we have a seven way holder, so it'll stay out of the muck whenever your RV's parked. Uh, here we have a battery disconnect, which is really great. So if you store your RV for an extended period of time, uh, that will keep your battery from depleting. Uh, this RV is about 4,700 pounds empty. Uh, let's check here on the gross weight. This is gonna be six, just under 6,600 pounds gross weight, which is really great. Uh, here we have a fresh water fill. If you wanna go off the grid, take water with you. You can use onboard pump, city water connection. If you're at a place with pressurized water, other side of the passenger storage. Here we have uh, dump stations. Um, so you have two different valves up front and one in the rear. Here we have the slides, the Schwintec system, which is really great, very reliable, low maintenance. Does have a black tank flush. Um, so whenever you dump your black tank, you can just hook up a water hose and turn the water on, make sure your black tank's open first. And this will uh, clean it out for you so you don't have to do it the manual way. Getting a wand sticking down the toilet. Also, the roof on this one is PVC. It's virtually maintenance free, which is great. Uh, the larger R pods, they have been doing that. On the smaller ones, you will have the one piece fiberglass roof. A couple of other things, you know, you do have a ladder on this one. They have been doing that on the larger R pods, but uh, that makes maintenance a lot easier. This is also the first R pod that I've seen with a uh, backup camera ready system. Uh, so you're not gonna have to do any modifications to do that. It's very easy to uh, set up. If you'd like to add one, backup cameras can save lives. Here we have cable satellite inlet, 30 amp power connection. Does have a bumper, so you can put your sewer hose in there to keep your RV clean. Does have LED tail lights versus incandescent. They're much brighter and safer. They will last practically a lifetime. Uh, exhaust for the furnace is here. Access for the refrigerator. Does have a spare tire on the back. And that's about it. Okay guys, again, it's Nico from Cliff Jones RV in Sealy, Texas. We just got in this 202. If you would like to come take a look, I would advise coming very quickly because we have a do long list, of, a long waiting list of people waiting for our pod, specifically the 202. If you have any questions, give us a call, chat with us on our website, message us on Facebook. We'd love to meet you. Thanks again.